Hi everyone. Welcome to today's episode of Pregnancy Myths and Facts. I was just recently reading Lavakusha Kand from Ramayana. And I thought what better than to talk about twin pregnancies today. As I can imagine, Love and Kush were probably identical twins. Like Sita and Gita, Ram or Sham, we have been hearing about Love and Kush for centuries together. And of course, they were not born by cesarean sections, isn't it? And that is the truth of the day. Twins on their own do not re require cesarean section. If the first baby is head down, the second baby is growing well, the blood flow to both of the babies are normal, many of the twins can achieve a successful natural birth. Of course, it is riskier than a singleton pregnancy, but many of the times the outcomes are excellent. Of course, natural birth gives great benefits for the recovery of the mother, breastfeeding of the babies and also immunity to the babies. And that's the reason why more and more twin pregnancies these days choose to try for natural birth. Do listen to us in our other episodes about these twin pregnancies. What are the twins who cannot have a natural birth is a very important question. To learn about this more, let us first understand what are the different type of twin pregnancies. There are four major type of twins. The most common are the twins who do not share their placenta and do not share their sac. These are called as DCDA, that is dichorionic and diamniotic twins. These are the commonest, amounting to approximately 90% of twin pregnancies. And in majority of them, they deliver after 34 weeks. Many of the times, the first baby is head down and we can safely offer natural birth to these pregnancies based on various parameters. The second common variety of twins is monochorionic diamniotic twins, MCDA twins. These constitute to less than 10% of the twin pregnancies where the babies do not share a sac, however, they do share a placenta. Some of them may develop complications like twin to twin transfusion syndrome, fetal growth restriction in a selective baby, and thus they need much more monitoring. But even in these cases, sometimes we can offer a trial of natural birth if both of them are growing well. Please remember these twins who do not share their sac. However, even though they may share their placenta or may not share their placenta, the delivery is usually offered at 37 weeks, which is nine months and seven days according to the traditional Hindu or a lunar calendar, or three weeks prior to nine months, seven days according to a traditional solar calendar or a Georgian calendar as we call it these days. 37 weeks is full term for these babies and a right time to be born for majority of them. As many as 60% of twins go preterm labor, especially after 34 weeks. And even preterm, majority of these can still deliver naturally and have excellent outcomes. However, a rare variety of twinning where they share the sac is called as monoamniotic twin. The rarest of them all is all, of course conjoint twin where both the babies are stuck together. Monoamniotic or conjoint twins cannot be offered vaginal birth because it is riskier for them. And especially the monoamniotic twins are delivered at around 32 weeks to 34 weeks. They do require neonatal intensive care. They do require caesarean section. 
but still majority of them have excellent outcomes so do not be scared because you have a twin pregnancy certainly not be scared because it is a monoamniotic twin pregnancy stay positive stay tuned enjoy your pregnancy happy birthing